Hi friends, today we will discuss about validation. What is a validation? What are the types of validation? And what is the importance of validation in our pharmaceutical industry? Let's see. What is the validation? Validation is an established documented evidence that provides a high degree of assurance that a specific process or system or method will consistently produce a result meeting its specifications or quality attributes. It's nothing but any of the process or system or method we have to ensure whether it is consistently producing the result and it is suitable for its intended use. And background. In the year 1979, two of the FDA officials, Ted Byers and Bud Lotus, they have introduced this term validation in the pharmaceutical industry or manufacturing industry to ensure the improve the quality of the pharmaceuticals. During this inspection, they identified some gaps and uh, inconsistencies in the process of sterile manufacturing. Then they introduced this term validation in the process. Firstly, they applicable apply to this applied this validation parameter to the processes of the sterile drug manufacturing. Later, quickly it is spread over all the other aspects: environmental control, media, field, equipment and systems, uh, purified system validation. Since a wide variety of uh, uh, systems, processes, and uh, activities need to be validated. This is again classified into subsections like process validation, cleaning validation, analytical method validation, computer system validation. These are the major categories, four categories regarding this validation. We will discuss one by one now. What is a process validation? Be process validation is nothing but the collection and evaluation of data gathering from process design stage to commercial manufacturing we have to ensure whether the process is capable to producing the quality products in order to ensure it is intended for its use. And based on the approach of this process validation, again classified into three categories. One is prospective validation, concurrent validation and retrospective validation. Regarding this process validation, ICH Q7 and every year they have given some guidance regarding this process validation, how to approach, how to do this process validation. And second one, cleaning validation. What is a cleaning validation? Cleaning validation is a methodology, methodology to use to ensure that a cleaning process is capable to remove the chemical or microbial residues during manufacture of a drug with the, in a piece of equipment uh, in order to ensure the quality of the product, in order to ensure the quality of the subsequent products manufactured in the same equipment or subsequent equipments and to avoid the cross contamination to the products. The scope is again, uh, cleaning validation scope is applicable to uh, equipments as well as ancillary systems used in the manufacturing of energy drug. And FDA had given a guidance document about this uh, cleaning validation. And third one is analytical method validation. Analytical method validation is a process to ensure that a test parameter or method or process used to determine the quality of the drug whether it is giving the reproducible result or not, whether it is suitable for its intended use or not. And this analytical method validation uh, clearly uh, mentioned in the ICH Q2 guideline, analytical method validation, one guideline is there and it is mainly focused on four of the category tests, identified test, quantitative test for impurity content, limit test for content of uh, control of impurities, qualitative test for the active majority or assay of the drug substance or drug product. And uh, last one, computer system validation. Computer system validation is a process to ensuring that any component, technology component, software or hardware is uh, suitable for its intended use or it is fulfilling the requirement in line with the regulatory guidelines or requirements. Uh, this computer system validation study as mentioned in this, uh, one of the guidelines, ICHQ9, Quality Risk Management Guideline and GAMP5, Good Automated and Manufacturing Practice Guideline and ASFDA 21 CFR part 11 and the European Pharmacopoeia they have mentioned the NX11 about this computer system validation. Uh, in this computer system validation both hardware and software are the part of this we had considered for the validation. These are the major four categories of validation. Apart from these four there are so many validations. Equipment validation, facility validation, heating, ventilation and air conditioning system validation and blending process validation, drying process validation and these are the some validations. 
but again this equipment facility and HVAC blending drying validation are subsequent of the process validation. So there are many four validations. So now we discussed about what is a validation, what are the types of validation, what are the guidance regarding this validation. Now we will talk about this. What is the importance of this validation in the pharmaceutical industry? Firstly, it is a basic requirement for a firm to submit a DMF drug master file or new drug application for a generic molecule as well as a new molecule to the regulatory submission. And it is a very important to ensure that a process system or method will consistently produce the expected result and it is a key element to ensure the product quality and it helps to determine the worst case or risks that may arise during the manufacturing of a drug substance or drug product. So this is about validation, what is a validation, what are types of validation and uh, what is the importance of validation in the pharmaceutical industry on briefly we will uh, discuss about uh, more about this process validation separately, cleaning validation, metal validation and composition validation in our further sessions. Uh, I hope you all understand my topic, today's topic. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel and forward to your colleagues and friends. They have some knowledge. Uh, thank you once again. Uh, we will discuss more about in future classes. Thank you. Have a nice day.